Hello and welcome to the On Demand Orange News Update. I'm Ernie Engage and with me as always is your favorite field correspondent, a man with more charisma than Frank Sinatra, Ferris Bueller, and Superman combined, our own Sammy Scholar. Now Sammy's out at MindTap University today to explore some new mind apps. And if you're just joining us here in part three, we want to make sure that you've gone through the activities in part one. Let's quickly review before we discuss what's going to happen in part three. Part one, you built courses. You customized at a very basic level the learning path. In part two, you got introduced to mind apps and these blew your mind. You began customizing a little bit deeper within those courses and now you're joining us in part three. And that of course means it's homework time, baby. So to explore homework within MindTap, let's ensure that we're all on the same page by covering the learning objectives. Number one, you'll be able to add a Cengage Now homework assignment created from the end of chapter questions directly to the MindTap reader. Number two, you'll have the ability to add a Cengage Now quiz directly within the learning path, and this one will be built out of test bank questions. Three, you'll have the ability to add an unassigned assignment from Applia directly within your learning path. And last but not least, you'll have the ability to edit and update the grading options for one Applia assignment within the learning path. Outstanding! Now that we've covered the learning objectives and you know what you need to accomplish for today, let's go ahead and throw it out to MindTap University, our own Sammy Scholar. Sammy! It's time to give educators an orange MindTap? What kind of marketing people is this place hiring? Sammy, we're live, my friend. What, we're on? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yes. Yes, thank you, Ernie. Today we're reporting live from MindTap University, where we're learning today a little bit more about what these new homework mind apps are all about. So they have the new Applia and Cengage Now homework apps, and they're very important because now existing users of Applia and Cengage Now can have a more integrated experience with MindTap. Let's go on into MindTap University and see what these new apps are really all about. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is add an Applia assignment to our learning path. So we'll click on the Add Activity button and go ahead and we will select the Applia Assignment app. It'll bring up our list of assignments. You'll notice all of these that have a check mark are already in the learning path in their respective chapters. So we'll scroll down here and select Introduction to Using Applia Assignments, hit Continue. From here it'll ask us where we want to place it in the learning path, so we're just going to stick it right at the very beginning so students can use it right away and learn how to do it. And there we have it. Now it's located here at the very top of the learning path. Well, let's say now that we want to edit those a little bit. Maybe we don't want to make it count towards their grade. So we'll click on Edit, and then click on Edit Options. And then from here, we can make all sorts of uh, adjustments that we'd like to. For example, we could change the title. Maybe we want to have it say, How to Use Apply Assignments. We could also change. Right now, it's got it listed as a Graded Now assignment, where it gives the students three chances. But maybe we want to make it something randomized where every student would only get one shot and each of those questions would be different for each student. Or if we wanted to make it standard, every student would get the exact same question only once. Maybe we'll stick with uh, something randomized and rather than making it a graded assignment, we'll make it a practice. Once we save those options, we'll see those changes reflected in the assignment and we are all set to go with Applia. All right, now what I wanna do is show you how to use the Cengage Now app inside of MindTap. There are a couple of different ways to uh, go about creating a Cengage Now assignment inside of MindTap. What I'm going to do is show you how you create the assignments first and then how you assign them out later. So I've launched my Cengage Now app and I'm going to click on Create Assignment. And we're going to use Chapter 9 inside of this particular textbook. First thing I want to do is create a homework assignment for Chapter 9. So I'll hit Continue. We're going to call this one Chapter 9 Homework. Go with Continue. And now I'm going to open up the homework bank here and we'll scroll, scroll on down to chapter nine. 
select that and hit continue. And at this point, I've got a couple of filtering options I could use, but I'm just going to leave them all checked and then go ahead and hit continue again. Because now I'm allowed to come in and just pick and choose each individual question that I want to do. So I'm going to control click and select these odd numbers and then just include those over into the right hand column there and then hit continue. Then I've got a, a few different assignment options that if I wanted to, I could modify these as needed. I'm just going to leave them with the default settings for now. And then I'm going to click on create assignments. So now I have created my chapter nine homework assignment. And now I want to create a chapter nine test bank assignment. Do a little quiz for my students. So I'll select test and go through that same process again and hit continue. We'll give this one another name, we'll call this chapter nine quiz. Again, we get to pick from available questions. I'll select chapter nine's test bank, hit continue. And again, I'll leave everything checked because on the next screen, just like with the homework, I can preview these questions if I wanted to. Anytime I select them, you'll see the preview down here below. But I'm just going to select these odd ones by holding down control and clicking on them and then moving them over into the right hand column. Once I've done that, I'll hit continue again and leave all of these default settings selected as is and then create the test right there. Now I've got my chapter nine homework and my chapter nine quiz. So now what I want to do is add these into these areas as part of these learning objectives to show you how to add them into the MindTap Reader and to the learning path. So I'm going to go into the chapter nine MindTap Reader, and this is where we're going to insert those homework questions for that homework problem set that we just created. Once I launch, launch the MindTap Reader, I'm actually going to scroll all the way here to the end of the text. And now that we're at the very end, I'm going to go into edit mode, click on the little pencil and scroll all the way down. Just kind of makes sense to me that we would put those homework questions at the very end of the reading assignment. I'll click on the plus button. Once I do that, I will select the Cengage Now homework app, and then it'll bring up any existing or, uh, problem sets that I have created. Now, you notice that you can actually create the assignment here within the app. You could do that. I, I just chose to do it this way just because it makes sense for me to do it that way, but you can do it any which way that you prefer. So I'm selecting that chapter nine homework and then I will hit continue. Once I do that, I have one more opportunity to change any of those options if I desire. And when I hit continue, it'll just ask me what due date, if I want to put a due date on there, I could. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it blank and I will save that. And once I've done that, It'll take that homework assignment and now I've added it right there to the end of the reading assignment and my students can now go in and do their homework, their chapter nine homework assignment at the end of the reading. Now, let's say I wanna add it to the learning path. Pretty self-explanatory, very similar to what we did with Aplia. I'm gonna click on this add activity button right here, select Cengage Now activity. And again, it'll bring up the list of options or of uh, assignment options that I've created. So I'm going to choose a chapter nine quiz. And once I do that, it'll ask me again if I want to modify any of those options. And I'll just continue on through. And in this case, I could put it anywhere I want to in the learning path. I'm going to keep it at the very end and uh, hit save. And once I do that, my quiz is now here at the very end. So that is a very quick and easy way to create your Cengage Now assignments and then assign them out either through the MindTap Reader or to the Learning Path. Ernie, back to you. Now throughout the activities for part three, we're going to ask that you create or modify four assignments. Here come the activities. Number one, we're going to ask that you add one Aplia assignment to the Learning Path. Number two, we're going to ask that you Go ahead and change the grading preferences within that Apple assignment in the learning path. Number three, create one Cengage Now homework assignment and make sure that it's comprised of end of chapter questions. Now this particular assignment should be added to a reading activity. And last but not least, number four, we want to ensure that you create a Cengage Now activity 
And this one should be comprised of test bank questions and placed within the learning path. Terrific. So you've finished the activities and you're wondering, why is this stuff important? Well, let me tell you. Instructors need the ability to customize assignments. And these allow them to personalize their course. Now with the apps, we have the ability to add greater customization to the homework and activities that exist within MindTap. This adds a tremendous amount of value and allows us to embrace certain solutions that have been used for years. Thank you so much for watching. From all of us here, we appreciate your time, we appreciate your attention, and we appreciate you participating in each of these activities. Now you've made it through part three. We look forward to seeing you on our next session. And as always, from all of us here at the On Demand Orange Newsroom, thanks so much for watching and happy selling, folks.